could say one thing for sure is that the weatherman was definitely right about snow, but they definitely weren't right about snow accumulations. A hundred percent flurries. Definitely am not going to be needing to use neither one of these. Even that one won't even, <laughs> that won't really scrape up anything. It'll just, you know, scrape up rocks. Yep. Let's get out here and, uh, warm up my tundra and, uh, <laughs> just cruise in this, these flurries on the ground. Man, oh man. She's looking good with all that snow in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Got my dickies, dicky boots. Typically wear my snow boots, but um, these dicky boots are gonna be what we're gonna use since it's not that thick. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, my actual, uh, I got a uh, thing to get the snow off my truck, but uh, it's in the truck. I don't want to drop my glove, so let me pull this mirror out. And I typically like to undust this so that we don't get any snow inside the truck as we open her up. This is the 2017 Toyota Tundra. It does not have the automatic start feature. So we have to do it the man way. That's why I call it. You guys got the technical way. And I got the man way. So the only way to start your truck is by hand. That's what so it so won't. There we go. Right now let's get it unlocked. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad. Clean it a little bit. I don't know why I did that because I'm just starting her up. So my actual uh, windshield cleaner is in, you know how you got your uh, shovel, well not shovel, but your, uh, definitely feel that good old heat. So uh, we're going to head down the road, um, go grab some salt, and then I'm going to see if I can find a parking lot to uh, test this truck out so you guys can see how she drives again it's not that much snow out there and by the time i find a lot it may be plowed let's head down the road guys this uh side street here it's been plowed once but um you know it still has some accumulations of snow on the ground and this tundra she does not care she is rolling with these mud tires on. And you can definitely hear it. Well, I can hear it. I'm driving in sports mode. I got it on uh, gear three. I typically have it in sports mode as I am uh, going down a hill. I'm not giving it any throttle. I'm just letting it coast. Letting it stay in third gear and coast. If I feel as though that, you know, conditions may be worsen uh, going downhill and I need to come to a stop I'll basically downshift it to uh, second gear and proceed from there all right let's go ahead and go grab some salt from Home Depot I always call it Home Depot but it's uh, Home Depot just a FYI all right Pulling up to Home Depot. I gotta clean that backup cam. I think right here is doable. And I think this is good. 
So we are officially at Home Depot and I glanced uh, inside, you know, as you drive through Home Depot, you see the you know, glass inside the store. Basically glanced inside and I seen that they still had some salt. So I'm gonna grab probably three bags, probably three bags of salt, just in case, you know, a family member may need some. And, uh, you know, rock on. Man, I almost fell for the okie doke. So, these bags of snow, uh, they're like $15 each. They were at the front, so commonly what stores do is they'll put probably like the more expensive, well, I wouldn't say more expensive, because more, more than likely this vendor is willing to pay more to have their salt at the front of the store. But anyway, um, customers that's looking for salt, they'll come into a store and that they'll see the salt. And basically, since it's kind of like rare right now, they'll just go ahead and grab it without actually looking around the store to see that there's a cheaper price, which this one's like eight something dollars. I would say I don't really need this. So I'm gonna just rock out with this one. And it'll allow me to get like roughly four bags instead of two. Yeah. This one's got a little bit uh, more of a graphical uh, view, such as you know, safer for plants and natural products, stuff of that nature. Um, this one, it pretty much says the safe and economical choice. So basically, they could be all of the same product. Um, the reason being is because majority of these companies, they don't actually make and sell these salt. They basically, you know, get it, get it uh, manufactured from another business. So they could just basically change the bag, change the price, and you can assume that you're buying a more of a premium salt, but it could be the same salt that's in here. You know, SWI, SWI. That's basically what it is. Anyway, enough of that crazy nonsense. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this back over there. And uh, fifteen dollars and grab four of these and be on my murder. Alright, so I got the salt in the cart. One thing I noticed too is that when I was lifting this up, I was like, man, this thing is a bit more heavier. And sure enough, 22 pounds for nine something dollars. Then that's 20. All right, guys, it's time to roll. We got the salt. She's in the tundra. I eventually got three bags, so three bags is good. I added a little bit of weight to our truck, so that's good, even though with this type of weather conditions, we don't really need it. But, you know, extra weight is always, always a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing.
man, she runs good. She runs good. She handles the snow good. Um, uh, since I've been driving, you know, all wheel drive vehicles, uh, such as my last vehicle was a 99 Tundra. No, 99, correction, my last vehicle was a 99 Land Cruiser, all wheel drive, full time all wheel drive. So, this being my first truck that I've owned um, personally, uh, it's it's amazing experience. And man, this thing, <laughs> this thing rocks, especially with these. Uh, mud tires they just those suckers just grip like it's hard to kind of count it steer it it's 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 because uh, it's just like the the tires just they just want to grip 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 you know i got um traction control off um i don't have it in tow mode because i'm kind of too close to this uh fire hydrant um if i had a little bit more distance then i would rock out with it but um yeah i'm gonna just try to play it safe and uh go from there this is this is the tundra in all her glory show you guys the tires these things they clean up real good just look at that you see that man we got some hot spots on them joints man hot spots man golly these tires they clean up real good yeah and it's got the lift so yeah man i love it man i absolutely love it this thing is just gorgeous man so yeah i gotta look back and see exactly if we were able to get the truck to be you know in sync with the position that i have it hopefully so hopefully so because I'm, I'm hoping this will be a nice cool video um i'm actually going to go stop by that other parking lot just to see if that lot might be unplowed and unbothered so that way i can actually you know do some more all right guys i think i found my last my last spot right here seems to be untouched i'm not 100 percent sure of how this lot set up if they have you know some sort of you know middle divider section curbage or anything of that nature so i'm gonna just drive on through kind of see if i hit anything well not necessarily hit anything but see if i you know run up on anything because that looks like that's going that's a hill so that's look like it's going down that looks like that it could be a curb right there find out in a few minutes um i mean thus far it seems like it seems like this could be a a last spot all right so so far it seems like it's a doable spot now i like to when i spin the truck around i like to do it you know uh going left way not right so that's what we're gonna do that's exactly what we're gonna do i don't even know if you would call it drifting you know i'm just gonna call it fun in the snow
All right, guys, I think I have it down pack. Let's give it a try. See, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns, who dig. You dig. Finish him. What you have to do to truly get traction control off is you have to hold down your traction control button. Now I'm gonna press and hold, press and hold, and bam, traction control is now completely off. So hopefully you guys can see that and to reset it, just press it off. And it's in park. I did it in park, so I'm not too sure if park makes a difference or not, but I did it in park, so. Mm -hmm. That's just a FYI if anybody wants to have some fun in there. Tundra. If you're not a subscriber, guys, please consider to hit that subscribe button down there. And uh, stay tuned for more more videos of my Tundra. Um, I, th I definitely believe next we're probably just going to get back into doing some uh, uh, videos on, you know, electronics. And probably, uh, I'll probably throw in a video of me assembling a uh, shed with my father. And I think I also may throw in a video of me uh, changing the timing uh, belt on my old Land Cruiser. So stay tuned guys, got more videos on the way. Peace.